The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to convert uh, rooms into mass families. And I'm going to use Dynamo in order to achieve this task. Out of the box, this is a task that is not possible. On this screen, you have a floor plan with uh, six, five different rooms. I'm going to switch to a 3D view where everything is switched off except the mass category. I'm going to run the Dynamo definition. And what this does, it uh, converts the room geometry defined as its boundaries and uh, the height of the room into an individual mass family. These uh, individual masses can be selected and you can see in the instance parameters that they report uh, the room name and they report the area. The name of the mass, the type name of the mass is actually the name of the number. It's the number designation of the room. And the beauty of this is that uh, these uh, 3D distribution of uh, boxes can be updated automatically by the script at any changes in the floor plan. For example, I'm going to create uh, a new room uh, in this location. I'm going to create a new wall and then utilizing a room object. I'm going to place a new room and I'm going to call this room an office space. Now in order to update the mass, the masses here, I have to toggle the boolean definition, uh, run the definition and rerun it again to through. Uh, and on my second rerun you'll see that the mass automatically updates and this new mass that I created reports the name of office and also has the area of uh, 196.19 which is the same area reported by the room. Uh, 196.19. Let me walk you on how this definition was put together. The room element collector from Lunchbox extracts all the rooms in the projects and the room parameter values. Uh, the goal here is to apply a color override to each of the mass families based on the room name. To do this, I utilize this series of nodes. I have to direct Dynamo to create a unique color definition for each of the room names. The unique items node lists each of the room names and the match with key value node map each of the room name with a numerical value. The next step is to associate the color to each of the room names. The remap range node converts the room numerical value to a series of numbers between 0 and 1. These are used by the color range to select colors between red and blue. These colors are used to display the dynamo geometry in color. Now I need to convert these geometries into Revit mass families. I collect the room geometry and use the direct shape by geometry node from the spring node package to convert each room geometry into families of the mass category. The next step is to add room parameters to the masses. I created these as shared parameters in the mass category and the set parameter by name node enable us to extract the value from the rooms and translate them into mass families. The final step is to override the mass families in the view using the same color range used to override the geometry in the dynamo space. To rerun the script, I may need to switch the toggle to false and then doing through again. 
this is our requirement to refresh the room definitions and the room boundaries. Alright, I hope this worked. Any question, let me know.